sort of big entrance. Dear Sharon, um, I am beyond grateful to have you here together with your soulmate Laura, who is preparing over here to say it. Um, it has been a more than pleasure to have received your acceptance of this event. And I cannot tell you how grateful I am, not only me, but also my horse Jimmy and my husband Philip, because you changed my life, not only my life, but also the life of my horse and also my oh. private life in a way. This is just incredible. Yes. Thank you so much for doing this. I, during the last days, I kept on practicing the speech, but you know what? I don't know how many writings I threw away because I cannot express in words how grateful I am to have you and, my, you and Laura in my life and that you gave my horse, my private life and also myself this rise and shine that you do to the horses because they really deserve it. They are the most beautiful creatures in the world and they just deserve the best. For sure. And beyond that, more than best is Sharon. Because the stage is yours, you are sharing and you share on that. Thank you so much for bringing so much glitter into this hall and you guys just enjoy this magic. She can teach you horse speak in a way that also beginners like I can do that. Thank you very much Sharon for having us. Thank you, that was so sweet. You can turn them loose, they can go. Yeah. Oh, look, she says you're my safety. I don't want to go. That's great. So the, this is the point of doing this behavior. And um, as the people leave, just try to walk together. Say that in German. Where Nicole is. Yeah, I'm here. So I will be your translator from the back. So, um, auf Deutsch. Um, Silke und Anna, Anna, bitte laufen mit den Pferden einmal mit. So we have four mares, and this is great because mares truly own their own language, they own it. See that before? So we have here a very different situation, we can see where we are. We have here four shoes, and they have their own language. And Gerlings use it. And uh, sorry, I was just talking to you. <laughs> and Gerlings use it for speak. Ah, yeah, genau. Also, the shoes, uh, Den gehört Porsche und die Wahlache, die benutzen es einfach. Schuhe sind einfach so besonders. And so the people can go. Okay, so wir doch bitte gerne yeah. die Pferde haben euch verabschiedet und jetzt sind wir die Hände. Great, thank you. Tschüss. Bye bye. So right there, um, the paint smells a poop and that makes safe. They're all smelling poop. And that is how they're determining safety. So they're finding their first horse message in the arena. Die Pferde suchen sich gerade hier die äh, Arena ab und jetzt lesen sie sozusagen Zeitung und sie gucken, ah, wo ist es denn hier sicher? Und schaut mal ein bisschen auf Sharon, wie sagt er hier nicht jetzt, wo sicher ist? Yes, ah. Yes. So I'm um, using a lot of gestures, postures, and signals, as well as the space itself to talk about what we could have as a relationship. And the space itself, um, horses use, I call it the chessboard, just for us to understand. Sharon spricht mit den Pferden nicht in Stille, sondern vor allem mit Gestik, Mimik und vor allem mit dem Schachbrett. Für die Pferde ist dieser Raum jetzt hier ein sogenanntes Schachbrett. Und sie benutzt diesen Space, also den Raum auch dafür, die Verbindung mit ihnen aufzubauen. It's interesting because the people said to me, this paint is new to the herd and hadn't found her way. And she has stepped in as a century already and with in this space she has come in as a sentry to offer protection and uh, she hasn't been able to find her way with this herd before so now there may be a new way. And here we have the first verse of this verse, 
zwischen einer Schiedersprache und einer Deutschen Sprache. Denn die Sitzer haben gerade eben Sharon in Vorgespräch erzählt, dass die Schockstute noch nicht integriert ist, weil ich noch gar nicht weiß, was sie tun soll. Jetzt sehen wir aber hier, dass sie sich gerade anbietet, das Sentry Horse zu sein und versucht, die anderen zu beschützen. So there's two main postures that verses use. One is an O. You see the two that are together, the white horse and the, the tan paint horse. They're walking with a low neutral head. The black horse has a very low head, that's a very low O. And now the middle paint, the, the, um, the who know the name? Uh, ice. Ice. Ice has an X. And the other paint has an X. They are X. X is up. O is low. Okay? Uh, black is as low as your O goes. And ice says maybe be two. And then the Criola, what is her name? Uh, I think the Criola is Bell. Bell. Okay, Bell, ice, car. Now we have this paint guarding the outside of the pole. So how horses do the environment is that they have spaces in the environment that represent wolves in the herd, and they have spaces in the environment that represent protection and safety. Die Pferde, also genauso wie wir Menschen, haben in einer Gruppe verschiedene Rollen. Die haben wir auch im Privatleben, die haben wir auch im Business oder Kontext. So haben die Pferde das auch. Und zwar einmal ist das ganze Thema Space and Safety. Wer läuft außen, wer läuft innen? Man sieht den Entscheidungsgrad der Pferde daran, wie sie ihre Haltung haben. Es gibt im Horsespiel zwei Grundpositionen sozusagen. Das eine ist das X, das hat der Eis gemacht. Da sieht man da Kopf, also das Eis ist der Schecker, der zu euch steht. Aber die Punkte, ja, wir reden über dich. Schaut, das ist jetzt eine. Sie versucht ins O zu kommen, also wir haben X für Angespanntheit und O für unten, was Entspanntheit bedeutet. So, they have also 15 buttons of communication along their body that each have an intrinsic meaning, which could be more mental or more emotional. Eine Basis von Horsespeed sind die sogenannten Buttons. Buttons sind 15 Positionen an, die alle Körper, die keine Stimme haben, haben sich vergessen. Diese Buttons sind bestimmte Positionen, die wir auch schon gerade zum Beispiel Wimperle, die sind mehr intrinsisch. Sie drücken damit Gefühle aus, aber auch auf ihre Grundmotivation. So the reason I'm using my palm and Lord using her palm is we're talking to different buttons at different times on different horses. They can do this because they use their eye and they use the flat surface. They may use shoulder or cheek or hip. And I don't have that body to act like good. Right? But then I I can't walk. So I have this to say this is my show. I show you, I talk to that button. Here, it makes it easy. So, um, auch wenn Sharon fast ein Pferd ist, sie hat auch kein Zeug, sie hat ja keine Figuren. Deswegen hat sie ein System entwickelt, wie Pferde das verstehen. Und eine der Grunddinge, beziehungsweise ein Zeichen, was sie gibt, was sehr stark ist, was Pferde da verstehen, ist, die Power, also das, die Hand in der Seite, die kann man gestreckt und auch gebeuteln und auch wie eine ganze Reihe einstellen. Sie sind so die Pferde mit der Weißrufe. Genau, und sie mit der Vorrang, die liegen schon der Vorrang, also auch so gut auch. Ne? Genau, schaut auch auf Power, ne? die Hände Hand liegt an der anderen Seite, einmal gestreckt, einmal gebeugt, einmal oben, einmal unten. Und so, between the objects, they have certain thoughts that they're having and feelings, and also between the people. They're having thoughts and feelings. So when it's the people, I point, I am the center. So I just do what they do. X, I do X. I say, yes, I see it. I see it. Tail swish. Yes, head down. Good job. Don't worry. This says don't worry. Like horses use tail to say, dun, dun, all done. Dun, dun, all done. Or, I'm uncomfortable. It hurts up and down. Or, Like this, it's stress. Fall down, sit. Thank you. Yes, there. I see it. Relax. It's okay. Fall me down. Fall me is at the pole, and it's one of the first buttons that mothers use. 
so you can fill in something. Ah, yes. Yes. There's a noise up there. That's right. Don't worry. So can you say something about um, tailfish? And follow me button being at the pool. Of course. You are so stop moving because you're dark. Give me a minute. So, I'm sharing with you two things that I've spoken about. Two buttons that are very essential for this game. And it's one of them called the T-Switch. This button with the middle and the top with the pair that you can schreib and verschiedene Nachrichten zu senden. This is the program. Schnell and langsam on here and there. Damit kann man sehr viel erkennen, wie das Pferd sich fühlt. Und was ich sonst noch gemacht habe, ist der sogenannte Follow-Me-Button. Der ist oben über dem Kopf, beziehungsweise in Richtung ähm, Schulter. Ähm, der heißt Follow-Me. Und das ist warum die Pferde da hingehen, wo ich ja gesagt sie sollen gehen, warum sie nicht bei mir anhalten sollen. So now they're skipping the muck bucket, which has many different poo in it. And if a horse is stressed, they smell the stress. If a horse is happy, they smell the happy. The hormone in the body changes with stress or with relaxation, and that comes out in the smell of the poop. You can say that. So, then I'll give you a little bit of Scheiße. I know that word. Sorry. Okay, also ihr habt gesehen, ne? alle Pferde sind gerade hinten äh, zu den Schiffern gegangen. Ja. Da hinten ist es wohl am Pferdeäpfel drin. Ähm, die Pferde können anhand von der Art von Pferdeäpfeln äh, unterscheiden, ist das Pferd, was da rein gemacht hat, war das gestresst, war das entspannt und lesen da, wie das so ein Pferd rot und erkennen dadurch natürlich auch die Nachricht, die das Pferd hinterlassen hat. Das liegt daran, dass in einem Pferdekörper, genauso wie bei einem Menschenkörper, verschiedene Hormone produziert werden, die dann ausgeschieden werden. Dadurch, sorry, riechen Pferde Äpfel halt immer mal wieder anders. And now that Premier um, Bell, she makes a safety poop. She touches the wall, she finds safety objects, they, they find safety objects in nature, and they find safety objects in uh, Havoc, they say this corner is my safe place, I sleep here. Or this water tub is my safe place, I sleep here. Or whatever. But they find it or they make a pile of poop, this poop is my safe place, I rest here. Pferde suchen die sogenannten Safety Objects, das heißt Plätze, wo sie sicher sind. Für uns Menschen ist es manchmal ein Zimmer oder ein Haus oder für ein Ort eine bestimmte Ecke in einer Reithalle. Da gucken die dann halt hin ne? und sagen den anderen Pferden damit, guck mal, da ist es sicher. Deswegen sind die anderen Pferde hin und haben geguckt, ah, okay, ist die da gestresst, ach nee, da ist sicher. Ja, okay, dann scheint es ja ein guter Platz zu sein. So we are now agreeing that the cones is because people don't make food for safety. So by doing that with the comb, they had a question. Do you mean this comb is safe like I made a safety poop? So we went to the comb and touched and she breathed it and said, yes, that's what we mean. Then Fel says, ah, good. Okay, well, we can walk over here to this poop and check that out. So, um, also nachdem uh, die Sherry dann dieses orangene Objekt erstmal gesichert hat, äh, hat äh, haben die Pferde eine Frage gemacht. Sie haben gefragt, äh, sag mal, ist das ein Zeichen für Hinäppel? Deswegen hat Sherry und Laura bei mir in den Kindern gesagt, ja, genau, das meinen wir. Ja, okay, können wir das mal versichern? Ja, okay, können wir machen. Und deswegen haben die Pferde entschieden, gut, dann testen wir das mal mit den Pferdeäppeln da hinten. Und ich glaube, sie haben äh, eine Entscheidung getroffen. So what we're agreeing to is the rules of the game. And they're saying, holy cow, do you mean you understand? And we say yes. And now we're both playing this wall. We're saying this wall, I take this wall. I'm going to say this is a safe place. But that pushes them towards the people. And so they're more X, see? They're more like, ah, the people. And she said, I won't go. I won't go. So we're saying with a hand up to the people, 
Yes, and I still own that wall too. You're safe inside of the space I'm making. So the, the bottom line with talking to horses, in their language, not our language, this isn't about training, this is about communication from 10 years of research into micro gestures that horses make with each other and what those micro gestures mean for herds to be healthy and safe. And especially with wild horses. So what they said is it's too much pressure to have only only both of you over here. And it was safer when one of us was over there. So you walk back to the base, so you go over there. So she will go through the safety objects, and I will have a wall here, and she will have a wall there. They said that's better. So they've already come to the safety center. Yes. Very good. Yes. Those squares are for you. And she says, I will just stand here where the white mare said it was taken. I will play the wall. So the black mare is taking on more of a direct protector role. And what I want to say to the black mare is, me too, we'll both do that. What I can't look at is resting. If I'm resting on the wall, I'm not acting as a protector. See the X step bigger? If I'm standing against the wall, saying I have the wall, I can ask for them to refocus this and join this. Yes. Bridget knows. Bridget knows. You have a question? Bridget knows? Yes. She dropped her Bridget knows towards me. Yes, I have a question. Okay. Yes. I can help. That is your tail switch. Tail switch mm -hmm. Yes. So she lives in Jesus. So they use Bridget knows when they're about three months old. They start to use the Bridget knows like this. Pop, pop, pop. When they're exploring the world, they say to their mother, what is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? And then when they're older, it's more like this. And maybe like that. What is that? So if I bring my palm across the bridge of nose, I'm saying, I see you have a question. She says, tail swish, tail swish on that. I don't want to stand here anymore. And she asks Belle to move her. So there's people coming in that door, don't worry. I will stay away from the wall because they're saying this angle of the chessboard feels strange. With people coming in and out, and then this paint says, ah, that feels better. I can lower my head and tell us that that feels better. I'm now the guardian between them and the people. Hi. Yeah. Three quick breaths. I see your foot. That you know that. Tail switch. Can you rebalance? This is a balancing through the body, not a backup for correction. So when I asked her, can you rebalance? She said, I'll think about it. They got into a different lineup. Did you see that lineup? Head to tail to head to tail to head to tail. Can you say that, the lineup? See this? So, lineup is a kind for you. Did you see the lineup? Did you see the lineup? Did you see the lineup? Relaxing, I see it. 
Good choosing. Good choosing. Front feet being I choose. I want. I choose. I want. I choose. She side passed over, said I choose. I want. To be connected. Good. I choose. I want. Good. Back feet are connected to the hips. The hips show emotion. Oh. Hips. Let's help you. Relax forward behind. Put your hands higher so she's not. Yes, relax backwards. Oh, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Very nice. Very nice. This is very saying, you're not triggered. Vulnerable. Vulnerable. The back of the belly represents being nervous, being vulnerable. I'm worried. I'm nervous. So back of the belly, it's okay. I've got you. The back of the leg, back leg, is relaxed. When they go to lie down, they have to sit to go down. So that part, back of the hip, sit. Means emotion, sit. Not sit like a dog. Not a dog, not a boob. Just sit, <laughs> relax. Yes, and they touch, 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 touch. This shows I'm finding it. I'm finding my relax. I wish I could eat. Because eating for horses is how they help regulate. Does everyone know this word? Regulation, resiliency. Horses have acid in the stomach all the time. So they need to chew and eat to regulate. And not having food is another kind of stress for them. They're not dogs. They don't eat one big meal and then they're full. They're not us. One big hamburger and that's it. They need to eat and eat and eat. It's need. It's not want. It's need. Understand? So they're by chewing this, they're saying, I wish I had something to eat. It would really help me to finish regularly. But I have a safety object and I have this safety object and that now they're becoming curious and they can explore. And they asked me to follow along behind. I showed them I could protect them from front, in front of them, and I'm showing I can protect them from behind. And you can say whatever you want to. <laughs> or maybe yeah. ask two questions. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, how much time do I have? Uh, give you a minute. Okay, then I say, let's make a little bit of a zusammenfassung from the last fifteen minutes. The first thing that I think is that I have to say 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 Häufig ist Kommunikation. Wir arbeiten nicht auf einem Ziel hin. Wir arbeiten mit dem Pferd und nicht auf irgendwas hin. Wir müssen zu einem Turnier gehen, wir müssen miteinander reden, wir müssen irgendwo hingehen. Nein, wir fragen das Pferd, was wollt ihr, wie können wir helfen? Wie können wir dir helfen, deine Balance, deine Sicherheit zu finden? Das war das erste, was ich sagen wollte. Das zweite, Bridge of Nose. Ja, äh, kam jetzt öfter mal vor, äh, das ist der Nasenrücken. So, das dritte, was auch öfter passiert ist, das ist die Matthäus. Das schauen wir gerade vorhin, ne? also je nachdem, wie der Schweif ist, ist es eine unterschiedliche Nachricht. Aber was wir auch machen können mit diesem Tailsfisch, ist, wenn es eine Unsicherheit sagen, sozusagen das Wegwischen. Ne? Das ist das, was wir Menschen machen, wenn wir sagen, ach, die ja nicht. Ne? Also diese Bewegung, die wir Menschen auch machen, machen die Pferde, also wir machen es halt mit der Hand und jemand mit dem Schweif. Um, regulation of resilience. Um, ihr habt gesehen, die Pferde sind jetzt wichtig, Wolfe auch, und wir suchen ihre Balance und ihre Ruhe zu finden. Sind dort Tiere, das Schönste, was sie haben können, ist Ruhe und nichts tun, um sicher sein. Wir haben es versucht damit, dass wir jetzt angefangen haben, hier diese Stammenfallen anzulecken und versuchen anzubeißen. Weil Pferde finden ihre Resilienz oder ihre Ruhe damit, in die sie essen. Um, das ist das, was wir in Hamburg gemeint haben. Und zwar Pferde haben immer, 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 immer Säure im Magen. Deswegen haben wir so viele Magenpferde. Die haben immer Säure. Und diese Säure muss unterdrückt werden. Und das wird durch Essen, also durch Food gemacht. Ähm, wenn die essen, bleibt die Magensäure im Auf und kommt nicht hoch. Wir haben dann, also Pferde haben, sprich wirklich sehr oft zurückbrennen, wenn die nicht mindestens 16 Stunden am Tag essen. Und wir reden jetzt nicht von, dass wir es mal in Hamburger essen und danach brauchen wir drei Schnäpse, um das zu verdauen sondern regelmäßig irgendwas im Magen haben. Also sprich, einfach mal grasen gehen. Weil
weil dadurch kommen wir so locker mit dieser Ego-Position äh, und entspannen dadurch. Das war das Dritte, was ich sagen wollte. Und das Vierte habe ich jetzt vergessen, aber Sharon hat noch so viel zu erzählen, von denen hat aber noch eine gekommen. Sharon, mein Dank. Great. I've moved on to some other buttons about quality of movement, how we could move together, and she's processing the information. It starts with Gert, with everyone. Gert is the mother button. First button that mother teaches to follow is Gert. So I said Gert and Gert, and these two mayors said, oh, that's great. <sighs> that means we're on the team. I'm on the team, and I can be above them, but like a mother. Does this make sense? Sure, that's what I can put your hands at it. Wir reden jetzt ein bisschen auch über die Girlfriend. Wir müssen die 15 Buttons nicht auswendig lernen, denn wir haben Bücher dabei, das es im Exzellen Forum gibt. Aber der Girlfriend ist wirklich einer, auch der sehr wichtig ist. Und zwar ist es ungefähr am Sachgebot unten. Die Position ist euch wahrscheinlich schon mal aufgefallen, wenn ihr ähm, Schmuck mit ihren Polen beobachtet haben, äh, hat die Polen sind ungefähr auf der Höhe des Sachgebotes. Weil wenn die da zusammen sind, dann sind Mutter und Kind sozusagen ein Team. Und das ist das, was Sharon jetzt gerade simuliert, sie fragt an, wollen wir ein Team sein? Und heute haben wir schon gesagt, ja, geil, ich bleib da. Und dann ist die Outsider. Ah, oh, das ist really, really nice. Ja, yeah. Outsider is safe, Outsider can relax. So there's a button in the front of the elbow. It is here in the eye. Of the elbows is ticklish, tickle. The back of the elbow is here. The front is here, not the chest. Chest is about pride. I am proud. Or I feel good, like that, like me. I am proud. I did a good job. Or I feel great. So if you touch chest to go backward, saying you can't feel great, no pride for you. So you touch back up button. Here, it's ticklish. And then answer the question, can you relax your mind and your emotions back and balance? She said, I could, but that damn noise. And she said, to me, to me, yes. Can you relax your mind and your emotions, your hip, back into this leg, this side? Yeah, that one. Oh, very good. Are you ready? Are you ready to try? If I stand on this side, I might be able to help her relax. I've got that. Can I have your mind and your emotions and your backup? Can we balance you? Yeah. You could sit that leg. There she is. Don't worry about her. Don't worry about her. Cheek. Cheek. Cheek asks for good manners. The cheek. Good manners, please. Cheek, cheek, cheek. Give some space. Cheek, give some space. Cheek here. Give me some space. Good. Cheek here. Give me some space. Even in the distance, even far away. Cheek, cheek. Ah, manners. Second button, mother, mother teaches. Manners. Mm -hmm. But also balance. Balance the head, balances the body. Very, yes, the mind has all gone to her, so she says, okay, she's okay, she's Yeah, then she looks at you, okay, that's all set then. Good. So we're going to say again, can you balance? You don't have to step back, just mind, follow me, with her. I want you to follow me and you feel good. Oh, oh yeah, even better. Follow me, this is the follow me button. Mother touches this button to say follow. Feel good here. Yeah. So, wither represents good feelings. They chew there, they groom there, they mate there. Mother puts her mouth there. First minutes of birth. Feel good, it's okay. You're okay, baby, you're okay. So, again, these are not, this is not training. This is communicating so that I can get into their trust. They give, they give me the trust from inside the horse because I make sense to them. 
because I'm doing what their mother would have done. And here, I want you to say this, Nicole, where you are. The mother doesn't say to a baby, go over there and see if there's snakes. <laughs> Another story. Um, mm -hmm. By the way, 10 minutes that time is yeah. running so fast. Um, so, genau, ich glaube, ein Beispiel geben schön ist der Held, ein Beispiel, den die einfach nur so viel Sinn machen. Und zwar, ähm, sie spricht ja mit dem, wie die Mutter ein Fohlen erzieht und es stehen die. Und das Beispiel, was gerade war, ist, und das wird jetzt sehr wichtig sein zum Thema Protection und Safety. Und zwar würde eine gute Mutter, wenn sie in ein fremdes Umfeld kommt, zum Beispiel bei Verrat oder so, würde eine Mutter nie, nie, nie zu ihrem Kind sagen, dass es aus wie Schlangen geht, auf Schlangen geht, ne? Geh mal hin. So, the Black Mary and I are discussing protect your message. And she said, do I have to protect now? She can feel we're getting ready to go. And I said, that is your job. But for now, you don't have to. I offered her to go away. And she did, but now she's sniffing the floor. But I still have to sniff. So this is how they show it. I sniff for bad things. I'm smelling for our danger. And I said, I know you do. And she said, and I watch out. I know what's happening. And the paint said, I follow. Hi. Hi. Oh, very nice. So she went, no, tickle. She was tickle. I said, that's fine. I have your back, I have your hips, I have your wither, feel good. I have your back, you're safe. Top of the hip, you're safe. Mine, yes. Yes, mine. Back, feel good. Ooh, feels good. See the hind legs? Feels funny. Go low. Drop the stress. Feel balance. Well done. Good. Yes. Cheek neck shoulder. You can come if you want. Or you can go. So then I practice a little bit of cheek neck shoulder. So when they're initiating movement, they have a long head and neck. And they initiate the cheek. Like cheek, cheek. I go this way. Hey, I'm going that way. Hey, see me? Hey, I'm the left. And then neck, I'm committed. Then shoulder, I go. I want. So cheek, neck, shoulder, and I nod my head, like relax about it, and I invite a movement. She said, okay, that's good. Cheek, neck, shoulder, cheek, neck, shoulder, cheek, neck, shoulder. I do cheek, neck, shoulder, and then this, so it's it's a closed conversation. You can, you can do what you want. Not cheek, neck, shoulder that way. It's cheek, neck, shoulder, I encourage movement, but you can sort it out. They're getting closer to the people. This is really cool. Oh, oh, oh. Now it's all excited. Too bad. Because they were just about to say, we think you're cool. They were looking at you saying, I think the people are safe. And they were coming to the edge. And so maybe we'll come and say hello. Did you feel it? Did anybody feel it? They were saying, maybe they're safe. So I can invite, yes. See the people, and what you can just do is put out your knuckle and smile. And just kind of, like, hello. And they can see and feel from a great distance. Horses can be grazing, one here and one over there. And they lift their head, you there? Yep, okay, very quick. So that's what they're doing here. So if you just put your knuckle out right over here, they can see you and you're just saying, I'm here. See how calm they're walking and they're matching steps. And this is a different lineup because they're moving girth on girth because they know they hear noises and Nicole looked outside and horses are not stupid. So they know that their time is almost up. They can tell because she went out and the horse is here and energy changed. But they're saying, let's do one more walk together in a calm, quiet way. Last time we came down here, we got a little stressed. So let's go here again and see if we can change that.
And then she stressed herself. And I have done smacking lips, which is you can change your thinking. Smacking lips. When they think, when they're understanding, they go, nom, nom, nom. Well, you can. Why not? No, 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 You can just make like you're chewing gum. And it's like, change your mind. And they said, we will, but we got spooked again. So I would need another day with them. Tomorrow, it would be totally different. They would come in, walk around, say, this is safe, that's safe, this is safe. What were we talking about? Oh, we were talking about movement. Oh, we were talking about backup. We were talking about moving together as a herd. Yeah. And I'm inviting them to come back around. Black, when she gets stressed, she loses her balance. Did you see that? So when horses are stressed and they're moving at stress, they're more likely to lose their balance. When they're in X and running, they're more likely to lose their balance. So I want them O in moving. Balance, balance. Balance body is balanced mind. Yes, girth, girth, girth. Yes, girth, yes. I didn't really get to do Yeah, that's, we don't have to. Yes, but that's good. She shows me what I feel safe. I feel relaxed. And they hear things. Girth, girth, girth. Balance. Yes, even when the people come, we can have our manners. Cheap, 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 cheap. Yes. Bridge of nose down, all the way down. Hip. Yeah, we can walk in balance. Are they ready? Yes, they are, and you have three minutes left, so I would unfortunately ask you to end the session. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yes. So they can just come in. And now they say, oh, it's happening. They feel the change. See how the black changes her behavior? Because she feels that the energies change. So, like, if you go to a new place, uh, you go, you say, I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to go back to university, I'm going to take a new class. And you get there and you feel, oh, I don't know where anything is, where's my class? Right? And you stress and you might trip and bump into walls. This is the same behavior you see horses when they get stressed. They're coughing, they're releasing, they ran, they release some energy, they're waiting, they know that people are here. The paint has made good progress with relaxing her emotion. And she's made good progress with integrating it with this herd. And now the little paint is tail switch me. She's like, share, and then they tail switch me. See? Yeah, we're all done. They know that I can't talk to them anymore. Mom is here. I'm getting picked up from school. Bye, teacher. <laughs> and then they get to tell mom all about it. I made a macaroni necklace, and I did finger painting, and I learned about balance. So, um, well, I cannot translate everything that you just said, but uh, from the reaction of the audience, I think, whoa, somebody doesn't want to go. Here you go. Um, but from the reaction, I think they understood. Um, I would just ask you to do some uh, yeah, closing words, and then I would take over in German. Closing words. Do you have anything you want to say? <laughs> so, this was a demonstration of horse speak, which is a communication, a way to communicate with horses exactly and specifically using gestures, postures, and signals. We have books, we have online learning. We're going to be on the other side of the, uh, the expert forum, this black building right out over here. We have books for sale, um, and we also, you can meet us and ask us questions, um, because this is for horses, by horses, and it doesn't matter what level of horsemanship you're at, whether you've got a horse yesterday or been around horses your entire life, this can bring value to anything you're already doing. This is not to replace training. This is to help enhance things that whatever relationship, relationship and fun activities with your horse. So the goal of today was, can we achieve relaxed balance with four horses? It's very simple. Can we achieve relaxed balance? And can they feel like I'm good for them? <clears throat> and that was the point. So when you achieve that relaxed balance, then the horse looks for you in a different way because inside of them, they've given you trust. So you didn't go get the trust. You didn't make them look at you. They choose to look at you. They choose to come. 
because you've answered their questions. And with this black mare who just ran away from the door, this is one of the things that does happen is I cannot be caught in the doorway with other horses around me. She moved over here to be able to be caught because it's safer for her as well as the handler. So if your horse, you go into a herd and your horse might leave, it's because we can't do this here. We need to go somewhere else to do this for safety. Their number one concern is safety for themselves as well as you because they will watch out for you with everything you're doing. If your horse is stopping while you're walking, they're like, hmm, we need to check out the environment. You have all that? Do a great summary. So by the way, if you want to learn more about horse meat, then just <laughs> That's so much in Deutsch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, should I, yeah. Why did you not do the German? I thought you were taking German. Uh, yeah. So, um, as he's, we dürfen applaudieren. Applause for Laura and Sharon Wilsey. And we never stop talking. No matter what is happening, they're always talking. Ja, wenn man einmal anfängt, mit denen zu reden, dann hört man nicht mehr auf, weil die haben einfach doch so viel zu erzählen und vor allem die vier. Ne? Also ich hätte gesagt, ähm, Herdenintegration ist geglückt. Ähm, wir denken, dass die ein Happy Life zusammen haben, weil Explosion ist, weil Mustang Makeover.